so i want to talk about that that first attempt to talk about how we how how our media has interpreted the the 2017 hurricanes right so you guys all did this okay so a couple things we'll, we'll look at the results in a second but i first want to just um this is how we're going to be entering our data for our public opinion polls and later our seafood survey so just so this is a great first you know low stress entry into talking about this this is basically the way we're going to do this with these spreadsheets entering stuff one entry in this case one article per row and there'll be a bunch of slots and we'll fill them in again the if it was true or yes or whatever it is it, it would get a one and if it was no or what have you it'd be a zero key thing is most of these cells you need to put stuff in so so zero uh matters so generally what happens you know, we're gonna be doing this it'll take us several weeks to go through all this and you guys will be entering stuff um, what I'll be doing periodically is going through and looking at it, and if I see something that I think might be an error, I'll flag it. How I'll usually do that is by just turning the cell yellow. So then, you know, every, every couple days, whatever, just go back and take a glance at your data, and if you see one of these yellow things, it's either it, there either is definitely something wrong, or I think maybe there's something wrong. So if you see that, um, so in this case, uh, uh, this one right here, there's, there's there's no author, this one there's no byline. So I'll just turn it, I'll turn it yellow. And when you guys go to glance at it, all you need to do is like go to it and then and then fix it, type whatever you need to type in, and then just come up and just you know make it non-yellow again. So that, that's that's just a way to flag it so we don't lose it. You guys can flag it yourself if you're entering your data like oh my gosh this I lost a page from my survey or something like that, right? So 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 we're all good. The other thing I'll just note is um, because a bunch of us are going to be entering stuff. And in some cases, you guys will be entering them different ways and this and that. Sometimes we get things like, like this guy right here. So I made this guy yellow. So it's all good. But it just, uh, so the, there's nothing wrong with the data. It's just formatted differently. But just to be consistent, we want to make sure that, that whatever the format of that column, we, we keep consistent with that. So you copy it from somewhere, your other data sheet or whatever, and you paste it in. That's cool. Just, if you see that happen, just come up to one of the, the cells above it, copy that, and just go to yours. And instead of doing paste, which would override it with those incorrect values, you can just come up and say, edit, paste special, and then paste the format only, and it'll correct all that. So the numbers will look fine, and it'll all be consistent. Cool? Super simple, super simple. And uh, so what we can do, though, is, is we can go over here, and what, and what I've done is I've done this for us right now. And so at the bottom of the, the group of columns, whether that's our, our seafood survey data, our, our public opinion survey, whatever, to the, now you guys will have the option to do many more in-depth analyses if you so wish, but the basic quick and dirty is going to be at the bottom. And so what we've done here is I've just, to make it easier for us, let me make this a little bigger, you guys can see this a little better. Uh, so what I've done is I have uh, copied this just from the top one so it makes sense right so all this is if we if we were to click on this which you guys are going to see is the formula the magic formula and my magic formula since all we're using is zeros or ones it's going to say hey go count up everything from uh, k4 oh look at see this is not right i have to update this to like 99 right and that then it'll be correct to 99 Okay, there we go. So, um, so there'll be a summation uh, cell, some cells that are adding up the answer, and then, and then to make it make sense, we'll, we'll exhibit. Oops, it will exhibit it as a proportional thing. There we go. So the answer in this case. So in some cases, it was just did this happen or not. In other cases, it's hey, we forced it into one of two bins or one of three bins. So here's the answer. So the question, as far as the the newspaper, uh, as far as the media interpreting the story of our 2017 hurricanes from the, you guys, it looks like so far you guys did 77 different uh, articles from various uh, media outlets. And the answer here is about 40% about of the articles were neutral. What the heck is going on here? My, my dude's spazzing out. 40%. Uh, geez, Finn is totally screwing. Finn is attempting to screw with the professor's uh, real time lecture. Failure! Failure! So, so, so 40% neutral, 60 per, roughly 60% uh, making a clear 
uh, are, are coming at it from a particular standpoint. Okay? If we look over here, hey, did people, were people, uh, did the article imply that climate change was a, you know, overall, was the impression of the article, was it, was it neutral, was it maybe a factor, was it likely a factor, was it not a factor, uh, likely not a factor, et cetera. So about 18% about, uh, said it wasn't, about 30% say it might have been, and slightly more than half said it was, there, there's a good chance this is, at least parts of this were made worse by climate change. Over here we asked about uh, what, what was the focus of the impact? Was it humans only, nature only, you know, equal or a little, or, or both, but mostly humans, or both, but mostly nature? And so here are the raw uh, values. And then what I've done down here is I've just sum, summed the nature primarily, the nature only, and the humans only, humans primarily. And so about 68% of the article, two thirds, more than two thirds of the articles were about humans, at least, at least mostly about humans. About a fifth of the articles were, were roughly 50-50, and about 10% were about nature. So clearly the story, which makes sense, the, the, in the immediate aftermath, that's when people are suffering, that, 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 that's the most tangible thing as to what the impact was. We just had the, hur hur um, the hurricane in, Puerto in uh, return to some of the islands hit. Uh, in the Caribbean, and then we just had the, the earthquake in Mexico City. The first questions are all, hey, how many people died? How many people need medical assistance? So that, that's, that's uh, understandable. Um, did people uh, cite uh, actual facts or data about climate change? About 40% did, so that's, that's pretty high. Um, and about 60% about thought that, uh, or made some kind of reference to altered storm frequency. Uh, about t almost two thirds uh, altered storm intensity. About half talked about increased flooding. Only about one fifth slash one quarter talked about land management policies, right? So again, uh, now, now this might be a little bit unfair in that we're looking at stories right in the immediate wake of the disaster. Again, the focus is on what was hurt, how was it hurt, et cetera. But as we know, and as we'll be discussing in our class, it's really these long-term policies and procedures and the guidance that sets us up for success or failure when these disasters do unfold. And, and uh, a minority of the articles reference some of the forcing factors in terms of our development, et cetera. Nobody talked about invasive species, surprise, surprise. Um, if you guys come with us to New Orleans, uh, with our New Orleans class, you'll, you'll learn that the invasive species might have a good deal to do with some of the, some of the complicating factors, but, but most people don't seem to pay attention to that. Um, uh, talked about a ha overall loss of things, primarily here probably wetlands. Again, about a fifth of the stories did that. And uh, talking about more and more urbanization, more and more coastal armoring, that, that, that hardened uh, natural, uh, what used to be natural now hardened, is about a, uh, one quarter. And then uh, this this is a bit of a weird one because you know some of these some of these dates you guys looked at were earlier and later but but you, you see that almost everybody is referencing the, the Harvey and Irma um, a few of you guys did the the most re did it in the last couple of days so we got the most recent storm a small subset reference these historic hurricanes of Katrina in 2005 Andrew in 19 that hit New Orleans Andrew in 1992 that hit Florida and then. Here we asked the question, when I first typed in, I, I, it was unbalanced, so I, I fixed it really quickly. So a couple of you guys typed in, this, typed in some articles first, so I went back and re-looked at your articles and, and adjusted it slightly, so it would be a more fair. But we asked one expert slash scientist, or many, and then one climate uh, uh, denier or climate skeptic, or many. We, we just said, originally just said, you know, was a denier or skeptic quoted, so I tried to make it more balanced. And then again, I've just merged that together. So it's about uh, three quarters of the articles reference some scientist, uh, objective expert, um, and about one in five rep, uh, referenced a denier. And it's, it's interesting that um, it's most of the time when people did talk to a, an expert, climatologist or a, or a wetland loss expert or somebody, they basically talked to one, right? 
talking to more than one. They still did, but it wasn't as, as common. It was pretty evenly distributed whether they talked to one skeptic or a bunch of skeptics. So it looks like if, if you're the expert that someone's coming to, you may be the only expert that they, on average, you're more likely to be the only one, right? Whereas if you're a, a skeptic saying this isn't happening, the climate change isn't real, or, or those kinds of issues aren't happening, um, you're probably going to be part of, you're, you're equally likely to be part of a chorus of people um, chiming in, right? And so that probably gets to, is the story neutral or is the story trying to push a particular agenda? And, and it goes on from there. Cool. Make sense? You guys get the idea? Awesome.